Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back. We are going to learn a new topic on integration today. Uh, so far, we have learned different various ways to integrate. Like we have seen how to integrate using substitution, how to integrate using trigonometric identities, the special integrals, how to integrate using partial fractions. So no matter what kind of functions are given to us, we have learned so far different ways to integrate. These are all tools that are given to us so that when the function is given to us, we can integrate. There is just one that was left out. Uh, that is like integration by parts. Like for example, if a function, if the product of two functions is given. Now if you remember the product rule in differentiation. We had a rule, if you remember, the product rule in differentiation. So there, if you had two functions, u into v then that was very simple for us that is that was u derivative of v with respect to x plus v into derivative of u with respect to x what if we are given to integrate the product of two functions now this we haven't learned so here what we will get is a new topic which is actually called let me just write down here integration by parts so this is like another uh, you know uh, different form of integration different form of product rule in integration something like that not exactly we do not call it product rule okay but it's similar to that only if the product of two functions are given then how do we integrate those uh, that particular function that is given to us so the formula, let me just give you the formula first. After that, we will solve some questions. What we will do is the first function, then we will integrate the second function minus whole integral of, since the first function was left out, we are going to find out the derivative with respect to x of the first function, integrate the second function, and again, whole integral of this particular function, this value. All right, got it? No, yes, I know. See, I'll, I'll give you another way. That is integral of product. Integral of product of two functions. Integral of product of two functions can be as first function into integral into integral of second function okay so that's this one first function into integral of second function minus derivative derivative of first function into integral into integral of second function its whole integral again this particular values whole integral so this is the formula that we have all right i hope you've got it but unless we solve a particular question we will not be able to really make out uh, how this formula can be used so we will pick up a question from exercise there are some more hints i'll be giving you so stay tuned so you can pick up your pen, paper and copy and let us begin with one question that is number one that is x into sine x. So what we will do is now we will integrate x into sine x. So we see that we have two functions here, product of two functions that is the algebraic function, the trigonometric function. So how shall we do this? As I said, first function into integral of the second function minus whole integral of the derivative of the first function into integral of the second function okay it's integral again got that first function into integral of second function minus derivative of first function into integral of second function and whatever value that we get here we will integrate this over again 
so that's going to be x integral of sine x is minus cos x into whole integral of derivative of x is 1 integral of sine x is minus cos x with respect to x so minus x cos x my I'll take this minus 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 plus integral of cos x with respect to x so from this particular function this value what do we get here we get 1 into minus cos x so we are going to integrate this once again so that's going to be minus x cos x plus integral of cos x is sin x plus of course at the end you can just finish up with the integration constant that is c all right okay so that's how we will be using it applying it all right okay now the thing that i was going to tell you is there is a problem and what is that problem suppose if i mean not if when the product of two functions are given the question is now which one should i be taking the first function which one should i be taking the second function or like anything that i any it's a, a, it depends on me not exactly that to make our integration much simpler uh, there is a formula which I will be giving you a shortcut which is really helpful in choosing the first function and the second function because see when we go for integration this is a simple one but sometimes what happens is we are going to be integrate if whatever second function that you choose especially here after integrating it we are going to be integrating it again after the product of this two function again we are going to be integrating it so when we do that if we do not do it wisely then if we do not choose our first and second function wisely then we may come across some problems while integrating second time all right but i'm there don't worry to make your job easier i will give you one formula that is i l a T E I was late. I was very very late. I late. I late. I late. Right. Now, if you follow this uh, sequence, then it will make your job very easy. Where I will stand for inverse trigonometric, inverse trigonometric functions, inverse trigonometric functions. L will stand for logarithmic, L-O-G-A-R-I-T-H-M-I-C, logarithmic functions. Let me not write on the functions, just to save some time. A will stand for algebraic, A-L-G-E-B-R-A-I-C, algebraic functions. Inverse trigonometric functions, for example, like sine inverse of x, cos inverse of x. Logarithmic, like log of x. Algebraic, like polynomial functions also, you know, x cubed, uh, x squared, or... 2x plus 3 and so on then t that stands for trigonometric so don't confuse with inverse and trigonometric functions trigonometric functions all of us know and then last with exponential e x p o n e n t i a l exponential functions like e power x or a power x and so on all right so accordingly you will be taking this as the in this direction okay so first second third fourth fifth so try to follow this direction then whatever comes first will be chosen as the first function so whatever you choose see to it that you follow this sequence then you will choose this as a first function and the second function accordingly all right this will help you a lot okay with that with that being said let's try uh, question number two that is i'll just write on the question directly that is integrant that is x into sine 3x with respect to x now if you look at this question what happens here is what do we have here we have the product of two functions that is x and sine x so here x stands for algebraic functions right and sine x stands for trigonometric functions so which one comes first algebraic that's why in the first question it really did not matter because it was already arranged but every time it will not be arranged okay so a and t so definitely this is going to be my first function and this is going to be my second function as per the sequence all right so let's do it so what do we do first function into integral of the second function with respect to x minus 
derivative of the first function into integral of the second function with respect to x its whole integral once again so that's going to be x into what will be the integration of sine x sine 3x that's going to be what substitution direct application as we have learned before that is going to be minus cos 3x divided by 3 minus derivative of x with respect to x is 1 sine x is minus cos 3x by 3 with respect to x so that's minus 1 by 3x cos 3x minus into minus plus constant again i'll take out i told you constants always take out don't let that bother us cos 3x plus 1 by 3 integration of cos 3x will be sine of 3x divided by the coefficient of 3 that is using the substitution method directly that is 1 by 3x cos 3x plus 1 by 9 sine 3x plus c bingo mad angles right so that's how you'll be doing it very simple just follow the sequence of course it all depends on practice 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 and practice okay all right so that's how you'll be doing it let's try some more questions quickly so that is question number two come on what happened yeah next question number three integration of x square e power x with respect to x so again i l a t e i was late so algebraic exponential so exponential always uh, the last function so again this is going to be my first function this will be my second function so let's integrate that is first function into integration of second function minus derivative of the first function into integral of the second function its whole integral so that will be x square integration of e power x is e power x minus integration of x square is 2x into again e power x with respect to x so that's going to be x square e power x 2 common now that is x into e power x with respect to x so this is not solved yet so we still have to continue our integration again so that is x square e power x minus twice so i'll use the bigger bracket so again i will have to apply the product i mean not the product rule sorry the integration by parts rule again so again product of two functions e always will go to the last function so that's going to be first function integration of second function minus derivative of the first function integration of the second function its whole integral once again so that's going to be x square e power x minus twice x into e power x minus integration of x is 1 e power x is e power x so that's going to be x square into e power x minus twice of x into e power x minus integration of 1 into e power x is e power x integration of e power x is again e power x so integration is done so i can just apply the con integration constant don't worry about that much that too much okay e power x minus into minus plus 2 into e power x plus c so if of course if you want to match with your textbook that's going to be x square minus 2x plus 2 plus c getting it now all right number four that is i equal to integration of x log x with respect to x so again i l a t e so what comes first we have here algebraic logarithmic algebraic logarithmic what comes first logarithmic comes first then only algebraic so i'll just rearrange this once again so i'll write it as log x into x with respect to x all right you can try in this format taking this as the first and second and after that you will know uh, whether it would be simpler or this following this sequence will be simpler for you all right but i'll be following this i l a t e so now first function integration of second function minus derivative of first function into integral of second function
its whole integral so that's going to be log x into integration of x that's going to be x squared by 2 minus integration of log x is 1 by x I'm in differentiation sorry and integration of x is x squared by 2 with respect to x done you can pause the video and write down all right let's move then I'll just continue in this rough page so that was 1 by 2 x square log x minus after we are done with this we can cancel 1 x so I'll have 1 by 2 integration of x 1 by 2 integration of x with respect to x that's 1 by 2 x square log x minus 1 by 2 integration of x is again x square by 2 plus c so 1 by 2 x square log x minus 1 by 4 x square plus c 1 by 2 x square log x minus x square by 4 plus c all right so that's how you can do this questions very easily okay all right so shall we move to another one that is that will be now number five integration of let this be the last one x into log of 2x with respect to x so again i l a t e l comes first so i'll arrange this log 2x into x with respect to x so first function integration of second function minus all integration of derivative of the first function into integration of the second function its whole integral so that's going to be log of 2x into x squared by 2 minus integration of log 2x is going to be don't forget differentiation it's sorry differentiation log 2x 1 by 2x into chain rule derivative of 2x is 2 students generally used to forget uh, the chain rule okay as we as they go on solving bigger and bigger problems don't do that into x squared by 2 with respect to x so let's see 1 by 2 x square log of 2x minus um, 1 2 1 2 we can cancel x x we can cancel what are we left with we are left with 1 by 2 integration of x with respect to x so that's going to be 1 by 2 x square log of 2x minus 1 by 2 into x square by 2 plus c 1 by 2 x square log of 2x minus 1 by 4 x square plus c so x square log 2x minus x square by 4 plus c all right so that's how you can do this uh, integration by part so it's very interesting but you need a lot of practice and please follow this it will make your integration much easier for you all right so i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video please do like share and subscribe today i'm going to tell you that okay all right then i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye